Hello my equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the budget equestrian. And today I have such a fun video for you guys. I am so happy about this. And the idea just came to me. I was thinking about making a new bridle rack, which is coming out soon. But we have bridle racks, we have saddle racks, we have boot racks, boot holders, but something that I have not been able to find is a bonnet hanger for ear bonnets and the ear bonnets are really helpful they're really useful and I've been really happy with how my horses act when I'm using an ear bonnet when I'm riding them so I thought it would be kind of fun to make a holder so that we can hang up our ear bonnets so we're not just folding them and just kind of pushing them around a lot of us have ear bonnet collections this is the extent of mine so far not a huge collection but I have room for more so today I want to show you how I made this awesome ear bonnet holder. It's really easy and it was really fun to make. So how about I show you how I did it right now. So the first thing I did was find a piece of lumber to make this rack. And I used a piece of one by six inch lumber. It's very affordable and it's easy to work with. Then I needed to find out how long I needed the rack to be. So I took an ear bonnet and used that to measure off how long I wanted the overall hanger to be. And it came out to being about nine inches for each of the ear bonnets to hang up. So then I just measured off nine inches for each ear bonnet. That made my total hanger 48 inches or four feet long. And then I just cut it with my trusty saw. Then I had to figure out where I was gonna put the dowels. So again, I used my ear bonnet and I just drew where the ears basically would sit. Then I darken up the marks just to make sure I was cutting the right spot. And for the ear holders for this ear bonnet rack, I'm using three quarter inch dowels. These were just dowels that I happened to have. I've got them for another project, but I never made that project, so they were perfect for this project. And by putting the ear bonnet on one of the dowels, it made it easy for me to determine I wanted to make the dowels about eight inches long for each of the ears. So then I just took my measuring tape, measured off eight inches on each of the wooden dowels that I had. Then it was time to cut out the dowels and it worked out really well because these dowels were 48 inches long. So I got six pieces that I was able to use for my ear bonnet hanger.
And then it was time to cut the actual holes into the longer piece of wood. And I have this tool, we bought it for drilling holes in doors. I have no idea what it's called, but it comes in a kit so that you can actually drill holes in door blanks. And it ends up cutting a hole that's just over three quarters of an inch in size, which was perfect for my wooden dowels that I was using. But if you don't have something like this, you could use a spade bit or a humongous drill bit in order to get the holes right for your wooden dowels. But if you're using a smaller wooden dowel, then it would be a lot easier to use like a regular drill bit. This is what it looks like when all of the holes are drilled out. And then I did just use a regular drill and drill bit just to make some little hang up holes because I don't want the wood to split when I hang it up. And then I sanded everything nice and smooth. and then it was ready to paint. And the paint I'm using is chalk paint. I love chalk paint. This stuff is so much fun to work with, very easy to go on, and it goes a long, long way. So first I painted the back of my ear bonnet hanger with a plaster color chalk paint. And I also made sure to paint the wooden dowels just so that it will have a nice uniform appearance on the rack. And after I gave the board ample time to dry, then it was time to put on the wax. And I started with clear wax and then just covered the entire board with the clear wax and then I wiped it off. And then I used a darker brown wax just to give it some accent and to make it look aged or older. And since I can't get that huge paintbrush inside that little tiny wax paint container, I put it on another piece of wood and then just worked it into the brush. And then I just lightly brushed it across the board. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can do it however you want. Once you have the wax on there, the darker wax, then you just take another rag and you just rub it off. This will make everything kind of blend together because the antiquing wax, the dark wax, actually works really well with the clear wax but you always want to make sure you use the clear wax first and then you use the darker wax if you just put the dark wax on it's not going to work and after the wax was dry then it was time to assemble the ear bonnet rack so i brought everything inside
And then I used my glue gun and I glued on the top portion of the rack itself because I want the wooden dowels to kind of go up at a bit of an angle. This will help to keep the ear bonnets hanging up on the hanger. And that's the ear bonnet hanger all done. This is what it looks like hanging up on the wall. And then I had to hang up my ear bonnets. I had to be able to see what they look like. This thing was so much fun to make. I am so happy with how this turned out. And now you too can have your own ear bonnet hanger to hang up your ear bonnet collection. Yay! Okay, so that is how you make an ear bonnet holder. Ear bonnet rack, ear bonnet hang up. I don't know, you can call it whatever you want but I'm really happy with how this turned out. Super happy to be able to display my ear bonnets. And like I said in the beginning, I've got some open room left. There's some open real estate left for some ear bonnets. So I need to find two really cool ear bonnets to complete my collection. I'm just so happy with how this turned out. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can do to make an ear bonnet hanger. You don't have to do it horizontally, you can do it vertically. That would look kind of cool too. This is just what popped into my head and I made it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because the next video that I have coming out after this one is I'm gonna show you how to make a bridal rack. Yes, I've done this in the past, but I've found that I have a new passion for rose gold. So I'm going to make a new bridal rack and I'm gonna make it rose gold and incorporate the chalk paint and the wax because I just really like the way that looks. It's pretty and I'm bringing the farm style style to my tack room. If it's good enough for my house, it's good enough for my tack room, right? So like I said, watch for that video coming out this Thursday. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This is like the coolest thing ever. I've never seen a hang up for bonnets. Maybe I could start a new trend. Maybe I should market these. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool and I love seeing the bonnets hanging up. They look awesome. But I still have two hangers left, so I'm gonna have to get two more bonnets. You guys have any suggestions? You wanna send me a bonnet? Send me a bonnet so I can hang it up on my wall and use it on my horse, of course. <laughs>